So I've been kind of debating whether or not to make this video, but ultimately I feel like I need to get this out there into the you know YouTube community or the plant community regarding important plants and getting scam. So I ordered from this Indonesian plant company before, and every, everything turned out well. They seem to be a legitimate um, business and in fact they probably did really well in 2022 um, a lot of youtubers have made review videos on them and you know it's really good marketing too that they are sending out free plants to these uh, bigger plant youtubers um, yeah so um, last year around maybe October or uh, September, I decided to get some plants from them. Again, you know, my previous experience with them uh, was good. So I was just browsing their website at night, which you shouldn't really do because, you know, you impulse buy things. I think that a few of you might know that. <laughs> and buying uh, on impulse is really bad, uh, especially during this time. Uh, when the economy and everything is crazy. But anyway, um, so I was just browsing through their website and I noticed that they have a rare plant marked down. Um, it was a variegated plant that is quite hard to get in the United States without costing a few hundred dollars, maybe. Um, so I was like, uh, is this true? Um, I decided not to do anything. Then the following couple of days, I went back to the website and they still have this plant listed for like $10. So I think that in my mind, I know it was probably a mistake on their end, but I kind of reasoned myself into go ahead and get some plants from them. I was reasoning to myself that, hey, it's been a couple of days. If this was an error, they could have fixed it already or should have fixed it already. Maybe this is a promotion of some sort. Um, so I ended up getting a couple of those plants for what's listed to be, let's say, $10. And of course, you know, with, in, with important plants, you can't just order a couple of plants. You have to order, you know, quite a few to make up the shipping costs. Um, so in total, I probably got like 15 to 20 plants in that order. Then a few days later, I got an email from this company saying that, hey, this was truly an error, uh, this computer error, and the price of the plants actually um, $80 or something like that. So I have five of them. So as you guys um, can guess, that raised my total cost significantly. So I was disappointed because this plant looked really cool. It was variegated, it's hard to find, and you know, uh, I should have listened to my gut and said this is too good to be true, but I kind of reasoned myself out of it, um, like most people would do. So Anyway, I told the person that, hey, uh, since this is an error, I understand that. Please cancel my order. <laughs> so, basically, we went back and forth for like six or seven emails. She's, uh, this person is like, why are you canceling your order? You know, uh, all the other plants in your orders are fine. So I told him no. Uh, I specifically made this order because I saw this cool plants and I wanted, I wanted them. Uh, and then I also, in addition, get getting all these plants because I need to make my order worth it. Um, so the let's just I'm not gonna try to stretch this out, but let's just say that they were very pushy in term of do not cancel this order. Uh, you have to you have to go through with this order. And I understand why, you know, because 
You know, if you convert the U.S. dollar to their Indonesian currency, it's a lot of money for them. And if I cancel my order, they lose a lot of money. So basically, I'm trapped. Uh, they're not going to let me um, cancel my order. <laughs> I don't know if you know, which is fine. You know, I'm, I'm I can't afford to buy plants uh, or import plants, which is you know I'm very fortunate to do that. But it, it just kind of irks me a little bit that uh, you know that happened. I just want to put this out there and see if any of you experience this. I think that it might be a tactic, a tactic that they use when maybe business is slow for them, that they pull something off like this to get money from uh, plant collectors that, you know, are from, uh, you know, other countries. Or maybe it's just an honest mistake. But I felt like it wasn't because just, you know, the, the emails that I went through with them, if it was a truly an honest mistake, they would say, hey, you know, uh, it's a mistake and we are going to cancel your order. But since they didn't do that and they drag it on and on and on until finally I'm saying, I have no time for this. Fine, sure. Uh, I'll go through with my order. But, you, you know, what they did was they offered me this, you know, compensate plant or whatever. It's, of course, you know, just a regular plant. Um that they added to my order. So I ended up getting, you know, maybe 10 plants from them. And not what I wanted in an order, but anyway, I've got that unboxing video, which I'm going to show you guys. Um, but I just want to share this out there and see if any of you experienced this. I feel like it's, if it's what I think it is, it's pretty shady. And... I just want you guys to be careful when you are buying plants from another country or online. Just be very careful. Watch your wallet. Don't get scammed.
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you find it helpful or entertaining. This is Tony. Please take care of yourself and your plants, and I'll see you in a future video. Bye.